Hello guys and welcome to another video from Vintage Radar. Today I'm going to tell you why I do believe that you should buy the Omega Swatch watch so I don't regret buying these two models and I have seen a lot of videos where people say that these are cheap watches, they are low quality, you should not buy them and I'm going to give you my thoughts on that. I have a full unboxing about these watches so make sure to check them out on the YouTube channel. Also how to use your Omega Swatch watch as well in case this is the first time you have a chronograph watch, a Swatch watch and you also want to maybe replace the watch strap or the watch battery. I have a video about all of them. So guys, as you can see on this particular model, so the mission to the moon, I have replaced the watch strap with a rubber one, something that I definitely recommend to all of you. Now, I believe that they could have done something way better with the watch strap, so that is something that I totally agree with the uh, videos out there. But as someone that is a long time uh, Swatch watch fan and also is a big fan of Omega, so the Omega watch brand that at this point cannot afford to buy an Omega. I believe that this is a great marketing thing that they did. So in case you did not know, Swatch also owns Omega, so the Swatch group is a very big um, conglomerate from Switzerland that owns several watch brands including Omega, Tissot and many more. You can go and look them up. And as someone, as I mentioned, that has been dealing with Swatch watches for uh, over 10 years now, I believe that this is a very nice and collectible Swatch watch. I really love the design. I love that they did something that uh, will most likely be very sought after 10 years from now, especially if you have one that is in working condition. I agree with the videos when it comes to the quality. Yes, it isn't uh, very high quality. It has this bioceramic, so this kind of plastic that maybe is biodegradable in case you were to throw it away. I know that some people say that the pushers are low quality, you can scratch it very easily because it has an acrylic watch crystal, but quality wasn't the main purpose of this release. After owning an Omega Swatch watch, for example, I went inside an Omega boutique, so I went to actually uh, go and see the real Speedmaster, have it on my wrist, get the feeling about that real uh, Speedmaster and I must say that I have fallen in love with the idea of owning a Speedmaster at a certain time. So if I were not to own this Omega Swatch watch, I would have not gone to uh, Omega in order to try on their watch. So this is something that was a great genius behind this release. If you are a Swatch collector as I am, this is a great and fun watch. You have the chronograph function, you can place it on different straps, you have all these colors, so all the variations, you have 11 models. You now have also the Moonshine, which has the uh, gold-plated seconds hand of the chronograph, which is something really cool. I know that, yes, it isn't very high quality, but if you uh, take care of them, if you do not bang them against the wall, if you do not throw them inside water, they should uh, be working for several years to come. I have been owning both of these for two years now. I interchange them, so I use this one in order to wear it on its original strap, and I wear this one on this rubber strap that I have just placed it on, and it feels more comfortable, and also it looks much better, and feels more like the real uh, Speedmaster. So in my opinion, I believe that if you are a fan of Swatch watches, you should definitely consider buying an Omega Swatch watch because it is a very cool and funky piece. If you are new to the channel, make sure to like the video, subscribe and also check out our two websites, watchesineurope.com for watch reviews and tutorials and vintageradar.com for vintage and pre-owned watches. The watch features a quartz movement inside that is made in Switzerland, so it is made by the Swatch Group, meaning it is an ETA um, movement, a very uh, high quality quartz um, Swiss made movement, so you don't have to worry about its accuracy, it is very reliable. Also it features this chronograph function that is really fun to play with and it is in great working condition. Once again, you can reset it and it aligns perfectly at 12 o'clock. You also have the bezel that has the tachymeter function. So it really resembles that Omega Speedmaster look, something that I really like. And I believe that they did a great and ingenious thing 
um, with this watch because now even more people know about the Omega Speedmaster. So the watch is priced at around 260 euros, 280 dollars, as long as you buy it at that MSRP, so the um, original price, you are good to go, meaning you do not lose a lot of money if you were to resell it. Do not go online and pay a premium for these watches because they are now available inside uh, swatch stores. So maybe when you travel, you can go and pick uh, one up. I would definitely recommend to make a $20 upgrade when it comes to the strap. So guys, in conclusion, I believe that if you have the money and you want to spend it on this watch because you like the design, you like the feel of it, you should definitely go and buy it without any regrets. Do not watch all those videos that say that, oh, it is low quality, oh, if you throw it from a building, it breaks down. Yeah, you should not do that with your watches. So just go buy what you like, even though it is a little bit overpriced and enjoy as much as possible because I definitely enjoy this watch. That was the video guys, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'm going to see you on the next video.